the longest time, if you were in the mid-sized truck market, there were only two named plates to choose from, the Nissan Frontier and the Toyota Tacoma. But that all changed last year when Chevy introduced the brand new Colorado. And here we have the Colorado Stablemate, the GMC Canyon. And you guys are lucky because GMC was kind enough to give us a sneak peek at the Canyon before it's officially unveiled later today. We're here uh, in front of the brand new GMC Canyon. That's right. Uh, this is a big truck because it's the first, well, second if you come to Colorado, but first new mid-size truck yep. that's going to be entering the U.S. market in a long, long time. So tell me about the truck. Tell me, you know, what was the design inspiration? Yeah, well, first of all, what we wanted to do more than anything else is make it a GMC, yeah. right? So we, we've just introduced our, uh, our Sierra Light Duty and our Sierra Heavy Duty, and this is kind of the next in our three truck strategy. So for us, it was, it's gonna, it's gonna appeal to a specific part of the market, but it was, first of all, let's make it a GMC. So you see that in the, in the design styling, so that chiseled, bold exterior styling. And then what we also said was, it has to have truck capability, but we need to spend a lot of time and pay a lot of attention to the refinement on the interior. We think that's going to separate us from the rest of the truck market, particularly that mid-size truck market as well. So we'll give them great capability in terms of best-in-class towing and payload. But I think we're going to surprise some people with the refinement of the interior, uh, how quiet it is, and just the attention we paid to the materials that we use. So wanted to make it true to GMC and that professional grade standards, if you will, but also make it a great pickup truck, right, because that's why people are buying it, and then do it in a mid-size package, uh, a package that for some people will, will really work a lot better. It'll be easier for them to use on a day-to-day -day basis by virtue of its size and things like that. So that was really kind of the, uh, the baseline that we started from. So would it be fair to call it a baby Sierra? I think that's okay. Yeah, yeah that doesn't bother me at all. I mean, the idea that it has all of the uh, attributes that we baked into the Sierra, I mean, w w the, th the things I've just talked to you about the Canyon, I, w we talked about the Sierra in those, same, in those same words. So we talked about refinement. We talked about quiet. We talked about making it in a great driving truck. But at first, obviously, it has to have great capability. And like I say, we're focusing on, in the mid-sized market, the Canyon's gonna have best-in-class towing, it's gonna have best-in-class payload. Certain styling cues, like I said, that, that you know, it sounds uh, relatively general in terms of bold and chiseled, but when you look at a Sierra, whether it's the light duty or you look at the heavy duty, you, um, you absolutely get that chiseled, bold feeling from it. And we did the same thing here, and, and even like on, on certain things on the hood and the sculpting, uh, sculpting of the hood, and it's kind of a little bit more subtle, but still a power dome on there. So all those looks, and if you take the, the key GMC cues like the, like the lamps, the LED signature lighting on it, uh, we tried to bring that over to, uh, to the Canyon as well, and we think it's really worked for us. From a powertrain standpoint, we've got a 2.5 liter four cylinder, but we've also got a 3.6 liter uh, six cylinder that'll get over 300 uh, horsepower uh, and 270 foot pounds of torque. So uh, it'll be a really powerful engine as well. So if your primary focus is, I want a great performing powertrain, but I want great fuel economy, you, you'll get that with the 2.5. But if your primary focus is getting a lot of power and really good fuel economy at the same time, you'll get the uh, you'll get the 3.6 liter V6. And then uh, in year right here, Duramax yeah, and in yeah. year two, <laughs> in year two, we'll have the Duramax diesel. That's right, we'll have the 2.8 liter uh, turbo diesel. Uh, available as well. So we'll have a nice uh, powertrain lineup that depending on your needs as a truck buyer, uh, we've got the powertrain for you. So, um, you know, those are the key components. We haven't released fuel economy numbers, but we're confident that it's going to be, that people are going to be really pleased with the fuel economy numbers. On all, all three powertrains and, and the two at, at start, the two five, four cylinder and the three six, again, it's going to depend on, on your skew, on what you find is mo most important for your needs at the time. Uh, but in either case, it'll be really good fuel economy numbers. GMC says that the Canyon will have best in class, well, pretty much everything. Check it out, redefining the mid-size pickup. But more specifically, 1,450 pounds of payload capacity, 6,700 pounds of towing capacity, and coming in 2016, a diesel engine under the hood, which 
will be a class first. LED lights, uh, so projector being our standard, that, yep. that signature lighting is standard on, on uh, every GMC Canyon. You can see uh, the signature Canyon, uh, Canyon grill. In this case, we're looking at an all-terrain version, so it's got a body color surround, so a special look, but we also have a chrome surround as well um, for, other, for other packages. Uh, fog lamps on this one, again, the tires. oh, I love, yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, the wheels and tires, just, just gorgeous. This is the all-terrain look on on the wheels, if you uh, if you spend any time checking out the Sierra, you should recognize the, that all-terrain look on the wheels as you come back. There, uh, and then it, you know some beefy tubular side steps, just make it easier to get in and out of the truck. Um, in this case, we've got the, the body color door handles again as part of the all-terrain package, but there also be black available and chrome depending on which model that you get. This is this is the short wheelbase, right? But there's also yeah, this is the extended cab extended cab version. There's also a crew cab version again depending on your needs as a consumer. But you've got that all-terrain look in in here as well, so it's got its own unique trim. You can see on the especially if you check out the seats, if you pan around to the oh, seats, you can see that all-terrain look. Um, so you, you got the, it's a, a jet black with a red accent stripe on it. And again, this is, this is the extended cab. So again, depending on your needs as a consumer, some people prefer uh, the extended cab package. But um, if you've got a lot of people to carry around, the, the crew cab is really spacious in the back as well. Only two seats in the back, not a row. Yeah, that's right. And, and you find from an extended cab, uh, standpoint that's really it's not really a passenger carrying vehicle it's when if you have passengers to carry it, you know if you have passengers to carry it can do that uh, but that's not its primary function so as an extended yeah, cab like it, so you it's take somebody over lunch it's a, exactly yeah. that kind of thing you wouldn't want to go across the country but, right? yeah but but that's why we have a crew cab right, as yeah, well right so tell me the back. you got so, these nifty dividers back yeah there? It, we'll have a multitude of accessories you can put in there whether you want to latch bikes or canoes or kayaks and things like that available. What's really nice about about the bed is, well first, it's if you recall in Sierra we made we made some um, we talked a lot soft about open. Yeah, yeah, soft open. So you've got you've got some dampers when it opens and when you lift it you got some torsion bars and you got some torsion assist that makes it really easy to open and close. Um, our what has now really become a signature for us is the the, the um, integrated bumper step. So for a guy like me, uh, old, as you get older, you really appreciate the integrated bumper step. But what's really nice is, you know, I'll even hop back in here, is you've got a multitude of tie downs, right? So you've got places, you got six tie downs on each side, three in the front, right? So you got a total of 15 places you can tie down. Um, uh, and you've got these hooks that go in, right? You can put these hooks in. Also, there's some permanent, and you can move these hooks around where you need them, depending on what kind of stuff you're putting in the back. And you've got you got four permanent tie downs as well built into the bed. And then we'll have um, obviously drop-in bed liners. We'll have uh, spray-in bed, bed liners. We have a six-foot bed yeah. available. Yes, this is this six. six, foot, six it's actually six foot two inches, and also a five foot two inch version available as well uh, on the crew cab. The crew cab can get a 5.2 and a 6.2. The extended cab is a 6.2. But um, so really functional bed, two-tier loading with some natural indentations. So you can manage your loads and things like that. So I mean, it's, functionality it's good for like, the bed. Bikes, it's good for absolutely. Hey, it's good for yeah, a lot of things. Yeah, pick, pick, pick whatever your lifestyle is. You know. Um, uh, we have some. We have a horse in our family. You know, my, my wife and my daughter are into horses, so you yeah, can picture a lot of uh, hay thrown back here. Uh, my son and I like to go hunting. I could see this really accommodating, kind of a, an outdoor lifestyle quite easily. So, um, if you want to talk about the four-wheel drive system, the best way to do it is you've got you've got an auto track, so you can put it in the auto mode if you want. You can go two-wheel drive, right? Put it in the auto mode if you want, and that'll it'll sense wheel slip and it'll. It'll send traction to your front wheels if you need it, so you've got automatic four-wheel drive. But you also have a four-high setting and a four-low setting, depending on if you got yourself into trouble or you just want to drive around in four-wheel drive all the time in a snowstorm. That and everybody who's lived the last few few weeks here in Michigan will know about the snow and the ice storms. But and you can but, do it on the fly. Yes, exactly. You can do it on the fly. 
And the cool thing is, I'm looking at the interior and looks just like the GMC Sierra. I mean, it's got the same kind of design Abs language. Absolutely, and that was purposeful. I mean, we've gotten a lot of positive comments about our Sierra. We know, as you as you can imagine, automakers do a lot of clinic work, and people have told us they love this in this interior as well. And we spend a lot of time paying attention to the. Um, kind of the little things so it's you know that soft touch in key places so it's a truck yeah and it has truck capability and it's tough like a truck but what people have come to expect is that same kind of comfort and convenience and nice materials on the interior of their trucks as well because they have to most people live with their trucks on a day-to-day -day basis yeah they do a lot of work whether it's professional type work as part of their job or um, you know, work in terms of do-it-yourself jobs or, um, uh, you know, outdoor activities, things like that. But so, so it has to do truck work, but the expectation is when I get on the inside, I want it to be comfortable, I want it to be quiet, I want it to have all the latest technology, heated and cooled seats, and cooled seats. <laughs> yeah. IntelliLink, yeah, yeah, climate control, we'll have IntelliLink on here, so you'll have, uh, you know, we don't have it lit up right now, but um, uh, you'll have IntelliLink, so seamless connectivity between your phone and your car. There's very little um, difference between a modern sedan and a, and a modern a pickup truck. Absolutely. In terms of amenities, at least. As absolutely. And, and in terms of of the quality of the materials, right? The days of this being kind of a bare bones work truck are over. That's that's right. I mean, the idea that I want I, I want a, a a truck that does hard truck work, but I, when I get in and I get in in the morning, I still want to be comfortable. I still want all my uh, uh, infotainment technology that I come to expect out of my other vehicles. If I've got a crossover, if I've got a Terrain or an Acadia in my driveway, I've, I've become used to that kind of uh, comfort and convenience. And when I get in the truck, I don't want to compromise that. No. So I, and so that's what we really baked into the canyon. Well, what's your favorite part of the truck? Um, that's a, that's a I really question. like, yeah, no, that's a softball question. I, I really like the functionality of the bed. Yeah. Um, if, if I was ordering this for myself, I'd probably get a spray-in bed liner, uh, maybe a drop-in bed liner, but I love, I love how easy the bed is to use because I use the bed in my truck a lot. And uh, that step, the easy step, and it's a, a seemingly very simple thing, an integrated step in the bumper, but it is so useful to have. And then you, many times you have your hands full, right, and you're loading stuff into the back of the bed of the truck, and, it, and the fact that you can open it and it just drops down really nice, it kind of, pre the tailgate presents itself to you, it's just really nice. And then, um, you know, you've got the tie downs in multiple places, so you're never quite sure how you're going to use the bed of the truck. I mean, you've got your typical stuff that you do on a day-to-day -day basis, but you're never quite sure. So the idea that I could move my tie downs to any spot in the bed of the truck um, is really helpful to me. So I just, it's a simple thing like really good bed execution. To me, that's my favorite. And then, um, well, you asked me to, just to pick my yeah. favorite, so there's a lot of things I love about the truck, but that's my favorite. Well, let's talk about the engine options again. So there are two options right now available coming this year, and that's then right. next year there'll be the diesel. So you exactly. have, let's start with the, the smaller. 2.5 liter, uh, four-cylinder, uh, paired to a six-speed, six either manual or an automatic. And, and then horsepower numbers on that? Uh, 193 horsepower and uh, 180 something. I can't remember the, the torque number. 180-ish torque. I paid more attention to the 3.6 because that's where the horsepower and the torque number okay, so what's the three really six? come. The 3.6 is um, is over 300 horsepower, yep. 303 horsepower, and it's uh, 270 foot pounds of torque. So it'll that's a lot uh, of power for yeah, it's it's really it's going to be a, a great. It's it, we talked earlier about 6,700 pounds of max towing. And uh, I think that's going to meet the needs of most people, right? I mean, there's some people that have to tow more than that. But if you think about it, 6,700 pounds, whether it's a horse trailer with one horse or, or a, a relatively good-sized boat, I mean, it's going to meet the needs of a lot of folks. And then the diesel option, which is coming in 2016, that's right? That's right. So you have not announced yet the horsepower or the torque on that engine. Correct. Or fuel economy. That's right. You want to break it now? You want to? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean that that thing that when we bring that out, it's going to be a wonderful addition to the lineup. And fuel and you, can, you well, you think it you, you assume and it will be fuel efficient, no yes. question about it. But you got to also have the benefits of a diesel engine, right? So it's going to be a it's going to be a, a nice um, a lot of low speed torque and things like that. So and it's and going to be a nice power segment train. only. 
it's only exactly at least currently unless you know something changes before then exactly so it'll have fuel economy and good and great power as you'd expect out of a diesel oftentimes mid-sized trucks like the new canyon are used as lifestyle vehicles in other words people put their boats in here their mountain bikes even hay for their horses so the gmc has a lot of flexibility built into it so that if you do want to put a mountain bike in here or if you do need to put hay in here there's plenty of room to do that it has a 6.2 foot bed it has soft opening and easy closing tailgate and best of all if you're interested in this truck it'll be available later this year now we were lucky enough to get a sneak peek at this truck and they will unveil it later today so come back for that video as always this is roman reporting for the fast lane truck thanks for watching and see you next time